My name's B, and welcome to Cooking with B. So to celebrate the first episode, we're going to be making a really awesome dish. We're going to be making ramen and dumplings. The best part about this is they're all real edible candy. So you can even eat your creations after you've made them. So you're only going to need a few items to create this yummy treat. You're going to need scissors, some water, and of course a ramen and dumpling making kit. Here's a look at what my mixture looks like. As you can see, there's the ramen and there's the dumplings. So let's get on to making it. Okay, now when you open it up, you're going to be a bit surprised. There's a lot of things here and a lot of it isn't in English. But that's what I'm here for, to guide you through making your own ramen and dumplings. So let's go through what's in the packet. So the main part is this mixing tray and it has a few different areas. We have this area here for the dumplings, these two areas for the small fish cake and egg, and these two areas are for the soup and ramen. And you're going to cut these out individually, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. You'll have three colored packets. This one is for the soup, this one is for the ramen noodles, and this one is for the filling for the dumplings. You're also going to have some gummy to make the outside of your dumplings. You'll also have this clear little baggie and this is going to be used for the noodles and also for measuring for the sizes you'll need for your dumplings, egg and fish cake. And then the last two items you'll have is a fork and a toothpick. Alright, now that we know what everything is, let's get on to making the ingredients. Okay, first things first, open up your gummy and follow my lead. So you're going to take your gummy and it's kind of hard so make sure you knead it a little bit and you're going to break off small pieces to fill in these holes and then a large piece to fill in this hole. So let's do that now. So there is my first little piece and I'm just going to roll that into a little ball and place it right there. So I went ahead and did the second little ball and now we have all of this gummy left over. So pretty much you're going to break it in half because you're going to be making two dumplings. So there we go. And then we're just going to roll them out and flatten and fill up that whole circle there. Oh, that looks pretty good for our first dumpling. Remember to keep this piece so you can make a second dumpling later on. And now we're going to be using our tray. So we're going to be using scissors again so you may want to get parental help or just follow my lead. So we're going to cut out a few different sections. We're going to cut out this rectangle here, this circle, this circle and these parts here. As for our egg and fish cake, we only want this square remaining, so just cut around the square. Now that all that cutting's out of the way, we can finally start making our dumplings. So you're going to take this gummy here and put it inside here. So once your gummy's pressed in, we're going to take our green packet, cut it open and fill up our dumpling. quite a lot of sprinkles to fill your dumpling but make sure you leave enough for your second dumpling as well. So once you've filled your dumpling up just close it in half and push down around the edges to form your dumpling. <gasps> Ta-da! So there's your own little gummy dumpling that you can eat. So let's give it a try. Repeat those steps on your second dumpling and let's move on to the ramen. So we're going to take our little ramen cup and fill it up to this line here with water. So once you've filled up to the line, we're going to pour our brown bag into there, the whole thing. And then we're going to give it a stir with the fork. <laughs> this fork's too big! Once 
sauce is all mixed up, it should look something like this. Next up, we're going to take our noodle container and fill it up to the line there with water. So once it's filled up to the line with water, we're going to take our orange packet and put it inside. And once again, we're going to stir in the powder. So this mixture is a lot thicker than our other mixture because it's for the noodles. So before we move on to finishing the ramen, I want to talk about the egg and the fish cake. We're going to do them quickly. So pretty much you take your little moulds here and press the gummy into them. Then we'll take our toothpick and kind of pick them out of their mold. So there's our little egg and there is our little fish cake. Next we're going to take our toothpick and poke a hole at the bottom of the bag. Then we're going to fill our bag with the noodle mixture. Once you have your noodle mixture in the bag, which kind of looks pretty gross to be honest, you're going to push it down into this corner where you poke the hole and squeeze it into your bowl. Now it's really hard to get all of the filling out of the bag, but you're going to be using this leftover filling. With your leftover noodle mixture, you can fill in the blank areas of your egg and fish cake. Wow guys, this ramen is huge. I am definitely going to be eating this for ages. So I hope you enjoyed this little DIY and like I said in the beginning, yes you can eat this. This is real candy. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and if you'll excuse me, I'm going to enjoy my ramen. Mm -mm. What, do I have something on my face?